Well, happy Thursday, everyone. It's going to be a little bit warmer today than it was yesterday, but it's still going to fall below that seasonal average, and it's still a cold start to the day. But how about highs near 50 today? Just a heads up again, it is going to be colder heading into Saturday and Sunday with that second round of Arctic air. But then as we get toward the mid and latter part of next week, well, we've got a warm up to talk about and we've got more rain. But first things first, let's talk about round two of this Arctic air. The wind chill Saturday morning. This is what it's going to feel like to your skin as you step out for parts of the mountains. It will once again feel like below zero for the upstate. We're dropping into the teens, but it's going to feel like single digits at times. This is Saturday night. Still going to be very cold. And by the way, here's a sneak peek at what it's going to feel like Sunday morning. So just heads up. It's going to be cold. We've also got a winter weather advisory again until tomorrow morning for parts of the mountains. This is Asheville, Hendersonville, Cashers. You are included in that Brevard back into Franklin, Bryson City and Waynesville. We've got some rainfall that will come overnight tonight during the early morning hours and some of that will mix with some frozen rain at times and even some uh, isolated snowfall. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Outside we've got mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. It is a nice start to the day as we take a look across the region. It's pretty calm for the most part, but let's take a look as we go into this afternoon. We are looking at partly cloudy skies for the first part of the day, increasing clouds as we head toward the end of the afternoon and all of that setting the stage for some of this rainfall. Here's a look at basically 1230. This this will start tonight, say 10, 11 o'clock tonight for most. It's going to be uh, give us some isolated showers for the upstate as well, but you could see a wintry mix across most of the mountains along and north of I-40. That's going to be the area of freezing rain potentially or maybe even some slick spots on roadways. So just kind of be careful if you're heading out and about. Here's a look at 2:30 tomorrow morning by 3, 4, 5. Most, if not all of it, should be absolutely done except for that North Carolina Tennessee line. We'll spend the rest of tomorrow, by the way, clearing out. So we are going to get sunny, but it is going to be colder and it is going to be windy at times, especially uh, when it gives us that reinforcing shot of cold air heading into Saturday and Sunday. Hey, Monday, Tuesday right now look to be dry. Tuesday, I do think we're going to increase clouds. You might see a few sprinkles, but look at this. Next Wednesday, next Thursday, we are looking at some rainfall. Next week is going to be warmer than average. It's also going to be wetter than average, so something to keep in mind for all of you type A's out there who like to plan a little bit in advance. I want to give you a sneak peek at that. How much rain will fall? Well, between Wednesday and Thursday, with Thursday right now looking like a pretty good soaker, we could get one, two, maybe three inches of rain. It's still early on, so something we'll continue to track. Just want to give you a heads up. We are looking at rain, but warmer temperatures, so no chance of snow. Not yet. As we take a look at today, highs in the upper 40s, a little bit warmer tomorrow. It will be breezy at times, and then here comes the cold. Cold. Live Super Doppler 4 alert day Saturday. Not going to be too much warmer during the day. Most of the day we won't get above freezing. I think we'll eventually get there, but it's going to be cold at night. It's going to be cold during the day, dropping back into the single digits across the mountains. Sunday morning, another cold morning. Then we slowly work our way out of this really cold air. And by the mid and latter part of next week, we will be warmer, but we'll also be wetter too.